Hi, welcome to the studio. My name is Loyal, and I'm the host of The LM Show, a 3D printing channel on Twitch, and most recently, this YouTube channel. Today, we're doing things a little bit differently. We normally do a lot of FDM printing. Uh, we like resin, but we don't do it as often as we want. Today, we're gonna do some resin printing. We normally print really big helmets here on The LM Show, but today, I sliced up a special model. I threw it in this Prusa SL1S, and it's printed in Focus Red Wax Resin, which happens to be one of my favorites. We're gonna wash it and cure it, we're gonna finish it, stick around. On this Prusa SL1S here, we have a tiny little Hello Kitty Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmet. It's a remix of a wonderful helmet from Galactic Armory done by a very, uh, very good friend of ours, a wonderful creator, Nick Daimlo. You guys know him as Bugman underscore 140. Uh, he did this really fun uh, modification, kind of a remix to that Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmet, and he turned a Star Wars helmet into a Hello Kitty helmet, and, and you'll see the finished product uh, here at the end. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and get this out of this Prusa SL1. And, uh, and get the cure and wash station ready. Uh, the way I do my resin, uh, I try and keep everything really organized and clean. I treat the outsides of the machines as clean and the insides of the machines um, are contaminated as far as I'm concerned. So I touch the outside, I can touch resin bottles, all that with my hands, uh, everything is good. Uh, but the moment I reach inside of a machine, anything like that, I put gloves on. So I got a couple of nitrile gloves right here. I'll throw these, these gloves on and uh, here we go. All right, so this is uh, the Focus Red Wax resin, which is one of my favorites. It's fantastic texture. You're gonna see it here momentarily. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up. We're gonna pull the lid off of this so we can get it ready here. This is the, uh, the fry basket here, the French fry basket. I'm gonna grab my tub. Now I just used a standard tub here just for cleaning purposes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off of the build plate. You can see here, drips, keep the drips to a minimum. And uh, there you are, take a look at that. That is fantastic. Beautiful red wax resin with a Hello Kitty clone trooper helmet. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these off and I just use a spatula here, just a little knife and drop the bow off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this nice and cleaned off, drop it in the bucket. Now, once it's in the bucket, what I'm gonna do is I go ahead and I just finish cleaning this off, right? Just for the sake of completeness. I clean off everything, make sure there's no little bits of cured resin on there. And immediately I just put that right back on the printer and I tighten that, tighten that down and that's ready to go. Now, here is, that's the helmet we just pulled off. Looks pretty good, right? That yeah, looks fantastic. And so we're gonna go ahead and remove these supports. The supports on this red wax resin come off really nicely. Nice and clean. You can bring that camera, bring that camera right in here. Get right in on there and watch the supports come right off. They come off just beautifully, look at that. Just nice. Everything is nice and clean. Dig those supports out of the inside. The, the, I'm telling you, this red wax resin is just soft. It's got a beautiful, soft texture to it. And 
uh, doesn't leave doesn't leave marks or abrasions or anything like that. Uh, well, marks from the uh, supports. It doesn't leave those behind. It's really, really, really fantastic. So anyway, there we go. So that is that right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and set this in the basket uh, for now while I grab the bow. And the bow is just really tiny. But we're gonna go ahead and clean the supports off that bow. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we do need to hit these a little bit with the toothbrush, right? So how I do this is I just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, that's actually what's in this bucket right here. And I'm gonna hit this just with this toothbrush, just a little bit, right? And all I'm kind of doing is just trying to make sure that I get any of that resin that might be caked on there still from sitting inside that printer. I'm just kind of getting a little bit of that off, right? And then I just drop that there in the bucket and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm doing this in reverse for the camera, but you guys can see this, All right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work this toothbrush around any of those little areas across the ridge, the ears, anywhere where I think that resin um, could hang out there kind of get caked on because we actually want that all to come off. So when it goes into this uh, cure and wash machine, this Prusa CW1, what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna have a little vortex of alcohol in their isopropyl alcohol and that's gonna wash any of that residual uh, uncured resin off, okay? But we're just helping it. We're kinda disturbing it, loosening it, getting some of it off now, making its job a little bit easier, All right? And I just use uh, a standard toothbrush to do that. Don't use your own, use someone else's, okay? Okay, good, perfect. That's what we're looking for, okay? So now we take this, set that right down here inside the uh, French fry basket. I'm gonna drop that right inside the Kieran wash machine. My gloves, they're dirty, and I don't touch the outside of the machines uh, with these gloves, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the gloves. That's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna pull these off, all right? Pull off the gloves. Gloves go right into the trash can that's right here next to me. And uh, I can go ahead and close the machine because the outsides of the machines are clean. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, now we are ready to uh, run the wash and the cure. And uh, the first stage is a wash. It's gonna be a nice purple alcohol bath. It's gonna rinse it, um, do all that. After that, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna remove the, uh, uh, the resin prints. We're gonna set them on the plate inside the, the machine and it's gonna do the dry and then it's gonna do the cure. I can't see it. But I believe if I just push this little button right here, it should start the uh, should start the wash. And there it is. I can hear the wash. So that's a that wash. I think is, is set for about a six minute wash, five or six minute wash, and then the drying and curing is about eight minutes each. And uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Welcome back. It looks like the wash is done. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Remember, the outside of the machines are clean, the insides are dirty. I got a I got a couple of gloves here. So let's go ahead and get gloved up. A couple of nitro gloves. And uh, we're gonna pull that print out of the alcohol bath and we're gonna lay it right here on the platform so it can get dried and cured. So we're gonna go ahead and lift out this isopropyl alcohol. All right, set that here. Here's our French fry basket right here. Looks good, nice and clean, All right? I'm gonna reach over here and I'm gonna set that right there on that build plate, kind of an awkward position, but that's the way we're gonna do it. Got the little bow, we're gonna set the bow right there next to it. Put the lid right back on there. I'm gonna take these gloves off, I'm gonna close it, and uh, we're gonna let it uh, do its dry and its cure. Reach over there and hit that button. It's pretty smart. It knows when it's dry and cure time. There it is. I can hear the dryer going. All right, I'll see you in about 16 minutes. All right, well, I heard the beep, so it's done. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there we go. The bow and the miniature Hello Kitty helmet 
are complete. They look pretty good. And the bow fits right inside the ear. And there it is. And now, the fun part. We get to finish it. Finishing this adorable little helmet was relatively easy. Once it came off of the Prusa SL1, we hit it with a couple of coats of Krylon. For the main uh, helmet body, we used Mambo Pink, and for the bow, we used a Cherry Red. We used the same visor material that we use in our full-size helmets, and we'll have that information in the description below. For the whiskers, believe it or not, those are bristles from a hairbrush. Thanks for watching. We had a great time making this video. Don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff, liking, subscribing, and of course, sharing. I invite you to come by our live show on Twitch, twitch.tv slash loyalmoses for the LM show, where we are live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific. See you there. Like this?